Hello everybody, welcome to the show. We're out on the water again today. We're gonna to try to catch some largemouth bass. Let me uh, just give you a throwdown real quick of what's going on. We've had two nights of storms. This is Saturday afternoon. It is just after one o'clock. We've got some wind, clouds kind of come and going, but they're pretty high clouds. I'm not sure what the pressure is gonna have and those storms that have came through the reaction the fish are gonna to have to that. So we're gonna jump out here and see what's crack a And of course, we're gonna use the shell cracker to see what's crack a but I'm gonna try chatter baits, rattle traps, you know, the usual suspects, uh, shaky head worms, small cranks, square bill, maybe uh, something else. I'd probably need to try a wiggle ward out here today. We're gonna see if there, anything's biting first of all. We're gonna see if anything may be shallow, deep, you know, just off the grass, down in the grass. So you're gonna figure it out with me. Let's do it. You ready? Buckle up, hang on, wish me luck. Let's go tear this honey hole up. Let's go get her wet. Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai, no bananas edition. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Mwah! Buckle up and hang on, here we go. That is a huge, giant, large mouth bass right here at Bass and Bonsai where we know how to do it. Hey guys, what are you doing over there? You wanna go fishing? Come on, let's go. We're gonna see what's crack lacking out here. Oh, I think I just had a hit. But really, while you're there, sit back and enjoy the show and watch this. We'll catch you guys a big, nice, large mouth bass right there. Whoa. What a way to start the show. Oh boy, it's a good one. Let's get it in. It is vicious. Uh, tree stumps all over me. Look at this beautiful largemouth bass. Whoa, take it easy. Come on, get in this boat. Let's go catch some big largemouth bass. Well, bigger than this. Mwah. That's how you should hold them. Sometimes we do it the wrong way. There's a jumper. Come on. You want to see if I can catch another one before you even get on the boat? Now, get on in here. Come on, hurry up. They're biting over here. Let's go. Get out on them. Watch your head. We're gonna jump right out here and catch us another one. Just you wait. See that wind blowing into that bank? Oh, we hit, a, we hit something. But we are gonna do good today. I can feel it. We already caught a bass right off the bat. On a rattle trap. Get a little closer to that bank, maybe. Maybe going too fast, too excited. I want to feel that grass. I want to reel it slow as I can. If I feel grass, I want to pop it off the grass. Otherwise, you're just whistling Dixie. That was as close to the bank as you can get. All right, hit grass. Get it off the grass, slow it down. Maybe throwing way too far into the bank right off the bat. I'm gonna go a little deeper. Start out a little deeper. Pull it off the grass. Find the pace. There we go, nice bass. That is a good one. Right off the bat, the second bass of the day is a big one, boys and girls. I hope it stays on. It's gonna jump, coming up, big bass. Big, big bass. Oh yeah, this is why we go fishing. Oh! I just had that feeling that he was coming off. That was a nice one, three or four pounder. I just had that, do you ever get that feeling? Oh well, let's get another one, it's early. We just got here. 
you can't catch them all that's why they call it fishing and not catching boys and girls so we're gonna go right back out here though and try to catch another big one off the bank in the grass is where I think our big bass will be oh, I think I had a hit and then came off I felt something solid for a second just a what? <laughs> I about took my head off. Got one. It took a while. He's gonna come up and jump probably. Nice bass. Had to go mow lucky rod and reel. If you want a crankbait, I'll show it to you. I haven't tried it in a while. Get over here. If I can get him in, we've kind of had bad luck. Getting these bass in this morning. This morning. Getting these bass in uh, tonight. There we go. Beautiful largemouth bass. Mm, coming at you. That baby was well worth it. And there's what I caught it on. That's one of the uh, Killer B Bagley baits. That's it's the color it came in. I figured I'd try it because it's got the yellow belly. You guys want to see if we got a jumper? One last look in case we don't get any more in the boat. Mwah. Let's see if it's a jumper. Probably weighs three quarters, close to a pound. Oh, no. well, it's one of those days to where it's one of those days. But what I was going to say, it's one of those days where I have to switch up baits. It's like I catch a. I know I talk about this sometimes. I talked about it before I ever started recording and making videos. There are some days when that bite is so tough, it's almost impossible to catch. Sometimes more than one bass on one bait. Like you catch a fish and then you got what they, I guess they call kind of junk fishing. You got to switch to another bait. And then uh, what I've been having happen is I'll catch one or two. Like I did the, today when I first got here. I nailed two right off the bat on the rattle trap and thought, all right, rattle trap bite's going to be on. Covered a lot of area without another hit on the rattle trap. Tried the chatter bait, nothing. That was the very first cast I made with this little guy and caught a bath so and we got another one now I had to switch just like I'd mentioned you got to switch baits up but I caught one on the old shaky head and I got sweat bee still mm. we're still going GoPro got overheated so I haven't been recording until I catch a fish I got him on keep him funny I know he's gonna jump again probably get off where our luck's been. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yes, not big of the day, but a very nice bass. He was trying to eat that thing. Come on in here. Get on in here, big boy or girl. Get a good look. That one's kind of bleeding, so we're just going to turn it loose. It'll probably be a jumper. And it swim off. So far it's like nothing. The bite is just shut off. Shut down. Except for this bait. Oh my gosh. That is a killer. Look at that vicious animal. Would you? Look at how vicious he is. That bait is almost half as big or better than he is, and he still hit it. There he is. Beautiful largemouth bass. Went like all straight from, right at the boat. You guys wouldn't have seen that, but just the little one came up and hit it right at the fucking boat. Every time, like, this is just one of those days where I'm off my timing. The wind was blowing over here hard just, I don't know, half hour ago, if that. By the time I get set out and I come over here, you can see there's no wind. I'm sweating. The bite is not that great. We're right on top of something. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if the angle is where you can see the depth finder. I gotta get 
I gotta get this funk out of this boat again. I just every once in a while there's a funk that gets on this boat. I gotta figure out how to get it gone. You know what I mean? It's usually by catching a big bass. So you guys help me out here. Cross your fingers, your toes, and let's go. Next cast, largemouth bass. You know why? Because they're on the menu. That was a whoa. Yeah, that was almost too far. I know there's a bass right in there. Just know it. There's a bass right in there. There he is. I did not get a good hook set in it show. He came right off. I was in the process of pulling it off the grass when he hit, so I just continued on, which is about all you can do. Wasn't a good hook set, but he was there. <sighs> boys and girls, boys and girls, I'll tell you what. The heat is on, the bad luck is on. This has not been a very great trip so far. I need a big bath to make me feel better. I know you guys are feeling sorry for me. Me too. I'm so sorry for myself. I'm having a little pity party. Uh, somebody bring the ambulance. I got the wine. You guys bring the cheese. There's, a, there's another bass right there. You got. You know there is, right? I'm not the only one thinking there's a big bass right in there. Am I right? Of course I am. Get off their grass. Oh, there's a twig or something there. I hit it twice now. There we go. You know I'm all right. Oh, that was a big... You guys said it was a big bass. Or did I say it was a big bass in there? Well, we knew there was still one there, but he's got a long way to go to be a big one, but we are catching and releasing, so guess what? Yep, you guessed it. He's got the chance to become a giant. Or she does. Are you a boy or girl? Man, we don't know. We're not kissing you. Let's go. We're right on top of something funky. Nope, they just don't want no worm. They're on a little bit more of an aggressive bite than the ones that are hitting. We'll hit this uh, rattle trap. That's actually a pretty good thing. Yes. That is a better bass. I didn't get a great hook set. I don't think it's a giant. Nice little half pounder maybe. Eh, not much bigger than a quarter pounder but cheese, but guess what? We'll take him. Where'd you guys go? We'll take this little dog. Mwah. Nice largemouth bass. The key is that finding that grass, hitting it, getting broke free from it, and then that's usually bam. Like sure. the top water probably kick in on the banks that it's blowing in, the wind's blowing into. There we go, right here at the boat. That bass is not far from the That's a good, I almost said gooder. That's a better bass. Didn't have much time to fight. That is a beautiful largemouth bass. And he's going to jump. I just know it. You know why? Because he's a jumper. That's why. Let's see if we've got a jumper, boys and girls. Come on. Sweat be right there. Jump up and get that. Nope. No jumper. You know what? I think I've kind of lost the old uh, jumping mojo. What do you think? Okay, everybody. I'm putting an end to this video. We missed the opportunity to catch a couple nice bass. We The one right off the bat, second fish of the day. I couldn't get it in. Uh, but it was a tough bite. They're not always perfect top water days where you know everything you throw at them, they'll hit on. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the Bass and Bonza if you haven't already, help share the channel. And like always guys, thanks for watching. Now get out of here and go Bass and Bonza for yourself and whatever you do, catch and release the big one. Exactly how we Big largemouth bass. Let's see if it'll jump.
That is a beauty. Yeah! Woo! The taste of success. But really. Well, the big chatterbait sucked. But we did catch a bass on a chatterbait over here in battle. I lost my shirt. So keep your shirt on. We got one. And we caught it on a little micro with that bait I like from Bass Pro Shops. On BFS, keep going. We're going to keep the battle raging on over here. Yes, we are, boys and girls. This may be the shortest battle video ever. One rod, one reel, one bass. No shirt. There we go. Oh, and it's the same thing. I bounced it off. I felt the grass. I pulled it off. It's, they're hitting just the. I'm trying to say is they're hitting on this thing just like they do over on the deep side on the rattle traps. You got to hit that grass. They are very. The bite is not on. You got to make these suckers hit. Even though we have cloud cover, and I'm sure that bite is going to turn on. I just don't know when, if I want to stick around for hours waiting for a good bite to kick in. There we go. At least we got something hitting. They're not big, but they're vicious. Come on, it's a trolling motor. Kang Tetan. Tarrant. Right in the face, right in the freaking boat, still my pop, oh my god, over my cell phone. Get, oh, I told you guys, it is war. Get up here. <sighs> Flashing me. Told you guys, this means war. Right now. That fish was vicious. No call for that. None whatsoever. None.